The amount of armor customization for the new SPI armor for Season 3 has been leaked, as well as some lore about the Chimera Fracture armor, which makes it sound kind of interesting. So if you want to know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. Credible Halo leaker Sirasia recently tweeted out the information about the different types of customization we'll be in for the SPI, aka the Mirage Core for Season 3 with 11 helmets, 8 helmet attachments, 10 shoulder pads, 3 gloves, 5 knee pads, 4 hip attachments, 10 chest attachments, 5 wrist attachments, and 50 plus coatings including cadet. A fairly sizable amount of armor customization well it's given though as this will be the featured core for Season 3 of Halo Infinite, which puts the level of customization right on par with the Mark V B set. Here's a leak providing some lore tied to some of the different armor attachments coming with the Mirage aka the SBI armor set. I'd pause the video if you want to read this all, but some notable ones I saw was the mentions of Athlon armor set right here that if you remember was kind of like the HCS athletic kind of armor set from Halo 5 and the Viper armor tied to Halo 5 once again. So we could see some Halo 5 armor sets coming in with Season 3. Now I'm sure many of you cringe at the thought of Halo 5 armors coming into Halo Infinite, but also keep in mind they will go through the Halo Infinite art style kind of filter, if you will, to make it look more presentable in a way. I mean, this is the entire theme of Halo Infinite is kind of capturing the old feels with some new designs from the Reclaimer era. And well, 343 did a great job with Halo Infinite, and I would assume that they continue that with the SBI armor. But we also have some information about that Chimera Fracture Core armor set that's coming in with Season 3. With Sirasia saying there will be 6 helmets, 4 helmet attachments, 7 shoulder pads, 2 gloves, 3 knee pads, 2 hip attachments, 4 chest attachments, 2 wrist attachments, and 30 plus coatings. But he does say to keep note that some of these might not make it at launch for Season 3, but they're the current list of customization. Which when I read that, I'm like, uh, probably a lot of stuff tied to the store would be my assumption. Maybe that's why it can be data mined at the moment. As we've seen with the previous Fracture Cores of Yoroi and Eagle Strike that the customization isn't really there for the 30 tier battle pass for the most part. You might get a couple items, but that's not really enough to really solidify it as like a, a true core for most of the customization, at least the unique good stuff. It's tied to the store. And the whole point of customization is to make yourself kind of stand out amongst the crowd. So either you wear the core where you kind of look the same with the same kind of attachments, or you buy the similar type of really cool looking stuff you can put on the core to look like everybody else. It's a topic I want to touch on in a later video, but we're getting a little off topic here, but there's some lore tied to the Chimera armor set as well. From Delta Index, a somewhat credible leaking source here for Halo Infinite information says that the Chimera armor core description reads as executors are born of evolved minds seeking a perfection of a bipedal war machine. Their flesh and bone is broken, compacted, rewoven, and overwritten into a hybrid where man and machine are almost indistinguishable. I mean, looking at this armor sound, I'm getting massive crisis vibes from this. Which when you read that, you're like, yeah, it sounds pretty cool. But when I think about it, I'm like, is that kind of just what a Spartan really is? And it sounds interesting. Let's we'll hopefully see they try to tie a little bit more story elements with these kind of fracture cores rather than just having some blog that's somewhat integrated with the story arc of the fractures and stuff like that. Again, whole another video worth the topic on this. And this really shouldn't come as an like extra surprise, but we should also see four new helmets for the Mark 7 set. Now keep in mind that these are leaked, but this is information pulled from Halo's API. So it's not like they're just making this stuff up. But when looking into this kind of stuff, it's important to know that some of this might not make it into the game, and they might be working on something that, that's not in the API yet that will be in Season 3. So of course, once we get some concrete information, I'll share it with you guys here on the channel. And according to Sir Asia, that Watchdog is going to be coming to all the new cores within Season 3. So the 152 armor core coloring is going to be basically given away now. Which I could definitely imagine roughly a few feathers. I know that the Watchdog coding didn't exactly turn out as people expected it to turn out like. But it's still a unique reward for hitting 152, which are so rare unique rewards within Halo Infinite that at least you have something, you know? But now it's getting taken away. But yes, we do know that Watchdog Neo is coming in with Season 3, which is much more of a true representation of that original Watchdog coding that we saw. But what's wrong with having two colors that represent you hitting 152 in Halo 5 compared to just having one? 
I know if I hit 152, I would still want to keep the current watchdog rather exclusive, but hey, that's just me. Now, if you want to hear my thoughts, if season three of Halo Infinite will be the rebirth of Halo Infinite, well, check out this video right here. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.